Got him. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. You know, it's funny, I was gonna bring a third pole and do this and do that. I said, no, nope. Today we're gonna keep it simple. We're going back to basics. Two poles, bobbers and worm. Yep. Like, let's just have some good old fashioned relaxation and fun. Yep. We know they're gonna be in here somewhere. We will find them. So you're running the two different methods of having one on the bottom and one on a bobber. Yes. I'm probably foot and a half, two foot. Let's see if there's anything up here on the bank. Right off the bat. Here we go, y'all. First one down. Yay! Got him. Yes. That feels like it. Oh, that feels like it. Feels like a decent one. Feels like an okay one. Uh, not very big. But it's a shell cracker. It is a shell cracker, y'all. There's the first one. And what was that? Five minutes. Beautiful. Not even that. Not even minutes? that. <laughs> We're going for a little bit bigger than that, y'all. Beautiful. Right. If you're trying to do a fish fry, guys, that's actually not a bad size. Y'all want that fast? He's on already. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. Mike's already on. <laughs> I mean, Dude, that's literally. a keeper shell cracker. That's eight inches. <laughs> that literally took less than a minute. That's but that crazy. is eight inches. You got the first keeper. That's crazy. I think we're in for a good day. Let's see right. what it says on the puck. Let's see what it says, fellas. Yep, eight inches. There's our first keeper. Da, 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 da. I can keep, typically tell. All right. I mean, <laughs> that was funny. There we go. All Got right. him. It goes down. That is a keeper, possibly. All right, guys. There's shell cracker number two. We've caught three in what five minutes? Oh, that's three like and five nine minutes. Inches. That's a beauty. There we go, y'all. That's a male. Look at that. That is so pretty. You know where that was? Right off the front of the boat. Not even four feet. Out the front front of the boat. We got two in there. This one is, yep. Nine. Eight. It's the same exact size as this. They could have been twins. Oh, there we go. Two keys. Got them. We make it number four now. Nice. And that is a bluegill. Once again, right off the front of the boat. That's actually a keeper bluegill. That's as big as the shell crackers yeah, we just caught. That's a keeper. But we're a lot as many of those as we want. Yes. Here, how deep are you on your bobber? Huh? How deep is your slip bobber? Uh, that one right there is, what? what is that? 18 inches? Foot. Guys, every body of water has different regulations on what you can and can't keep, the sizes, all that. Just make sure you're following those. We're allowed to keep 20 shell cracker each. There is not a size limit. However, we're going eight inches or bigger just because, you know, we like the size of those fillets. Those tend to work better for us. Mike's over here imploring the uh, bobber and drag one off the bottom method, which the drag it off the bottom method is highly effective. There we go. So that threw it in. And uh, that's a better fish. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Keeper. Oh, yeah. We'll take that, y'all. That's about nine there. Yep. That's a nice one. <laughs> throw it in, throw it in, nothing, and then boom. That's a beauty, eh? That's a beauty. Ooh, that's a keeper. Let's click it. Three keepers. Nice. Uh, just over eight. Oh, that's a nice fish. All right, guys. Mike's got a decent shell cracker here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no, he snagged in the butt. <laughs> oh, you are down. I am down. All right, Mike's got another one, y'all. What you got this time? Shell oh, beautiful. Keeper. All right, beautiful. And you're three feet deep. Got him that time. Need net or you're good? Nah. Feels like a keeper. Yeah. yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Nice. Well, there we go. That's an eight incher. Yep. He's a just a There we go. Got him. As soon as I said I was gonna switch, he's like, no, don't switch. Yeah. Don't take that crawler from me. 
There you go. Uh, won't be a keeper. It's a shell cracker, y'all, but I don't know if that's eight inches. It's gonna be close. Beautiful. All right, Mike just got one, y'all. <laughs> nope. It's a baby. Look at bigger. Yep. As soon as I threw it in. Got him? Yep. Nice. All the way up there. As soon as I threw it in. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah, this is my big one of the day so far. At least it feels like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm going. Get up here in the boat. Thank you. Not that's what I've yeah, been after. That's a nice one. We just doubled up, brother. That's what I was looking for. This both, is bluegill here. Both keepers. Nice. Yep. Check that out, y'all. That's what I was after. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Boom. One, two, three, four five that's a bluegill so yeah, we only got five we can still get 35 more shell cracker <laughs> you need a net or you're good no, he's, he's just fighting hard dude that's keeper. a keeper <laughs> it's a keeper all day oh, not even paying attention look at that guys nice good job mike <laughs> yep this is some fun fishing i'll tell you <laughs> it is and the great part about this is you don't have to be some super great angler nope very you don't have to have any experience really just watch this video it's fish happy. like we're showing you yep. right well that's it i mean this is really going back to basics isn't it Mike? basic fishing yeah a worm a sinker and a hook a bobber if you want you can do it either way <laughs> live bait is still the most effective way to catch fish i saw oh. the line starting to straighten out i'm <laughs> like here it goes that is awesome is it swimming with it yeah. That looks like a better fish. Still no, small. Can't seem to get a lot. That's a bluegill there, guys. Little one. Seems like they're hanging off on the back of the boat. Yes. Is that big fish just swirl? Yep. Right in front of you. Oh, well, hopefully it sees the bobber and it goes after the bait. I'm there we go. Cold. Got him? Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, yeah. That's a better fish. That's uh, fighting. Probably bluegill. They fight pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a keeper oh, shell that's cracker. That's a nice shell cracker. Oh yeah. There you go, y'all. Oh, oh. That's a 10 incher there. That's beautiful. Look at that, y'all. We saw a fish swirl. I bet that's what it was. Rolled over there as fast as I could. All right, y'all. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, come come back here. What are you doing? You gotta put some music to you. Oh, oh, he's not done dancing. He calls this my flopping routine. Okay, there you go. Okay. It was funny the first time. Yeah, it was funny at first. Now you're just being silly. Well, he was voted silliest fish in his class. Got him? That thing I do. Oh yeah. Nice. Cast. Guys, the breakfast of champions. Maple bourbon, brown sugar, pork chops. Mm -hmm. That's a shell cracker. Yep. Another nice. shell cracker. There we go. Finally. Come on. Finish taking it. Got him. That's a better fish. All right, y'all. I may have me my biggest fish of the day. Let's slide you across the top of the water. It's fighting like it's a bigger fish. It's a thick fish. But it's a keeper. That's, that's a eight keeper eight all day long. Sure, all day long, buddy. Look at that. That's what we're out here for. If I could get a whole mess of those 
And guess where that was? Where Mike's been throwing it just farther edge. out, yeah. off the edge. So they are sitting on the edge. Beautiful. Ah. Oh yeah. Michael, Michael, full cycle. Oh, that's a decent one, finally. Do you need a net? Nope. But that's a decent one. Look how fat. Nice, Mike. Very nice. Yep, straight off the bottom. Nice one. Beautiful, good job. There's one. All right. That was up shallow. Starting to get a little more action. Yeah, but this one was up shallow, which I'm surprised. It's a shell cracker. Not going to be a keeper, but it's not. Well, I don't know. I have to check it. Have to compare it to the others. Yeah, that's a keeper, huh, Mike? Yeah, you've been catching some decent ones. Oh yeah, that's an eight incher. All day long. Well, guess where I caught that one? Right out the shed. Right off the bank. Yeah, go figure that one. <laughs> so they're in here. There All right, Mike. That's a big old bluegill. bluegill. That one's a shell cracker. Nice, good job. Got him. It's a better fish. Oh, maybe not. Either it's running towards me or it's not very big. It just doesn't feel like a very big fish. Nope, it's not. It's a shell cracker. And of course it swallowed it. <laughs> Now. Uh, oh yeah. Yep. He's about eight. He's All the way decent. down the goal. You're catching bigger ones at least. That's a decent one. Oh, All right. oh yeah. Guys, Mike's got a big one. Oh yeah, man, I felt him slam it. Oh. Okay. Well, that's I stand, some size tool. I stand corrected. He's decent. He's the biggest nice. one of the day for me. Good job, Mike. He's probably about eight and a half. Very nice. That would be my guess. <laughs> there it goes again. <laughs> oh, flopping, flopping fish. Guys, Mike is catching them off the shelf with no bobber, dropping it straight to the bottom. I'm kind of catching them in the flats. Crazy thing about fish is they can spawn, and people are going to argue with me on this, but it's my own personal experience, my own opinion. They can pretty much spawn where the heck they want. Yeah, yeah. As long There's as the no water rule. temperature's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this whole thing, if you guys look around here, this is, you see the weeds above the water. That's the same thing that's underneath the water. So, you know, they have ideal spawning conditions and then they have their environment that they live in and that they've adjusted to. And this, so. We're finding these shell crackers spawning throughout this whole area. Some shallow, some deep, some on shelves, some in mud flats and weed beds. All right. Mike's got another shell cracker. That thing hit, they're hitting it right on the draw. That feels like a keeper. It is. That's a little bit bigger. That's about an eight inch guy. Yep, eight and a half. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. That's a better fish. Hold that one in. A lot thicker. Yeah. So Mike, what is your setup that you're using? hook in a pole. I've got a split shot, a uh, snap swivel, a snail, mm -hmm. I believe a number six hook if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And uh, six pound test. 
And how are you fishing that for these shellcrack? I am throwing it off the bottom and just kind of dragging it up and feeling for the bite kind of like you would do trout fishing in a stream. Basically the same thing. And guys, if you wonder if that technique is producing results, well, there you go. What else do you need to see? Get outside, go fish, and have fun. Need a net? Nope. But did you see that massive splash right in front of you? Uh-uh, I wasn't paying attention. That's, That's a, keeper. a keeper all day, brother. Yeah. Big old fat female. Give me my worm back. You don't get to keep the worm. There we go. All right, Mike. Beauty, guys. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Yep. Nice. Mike, you just knocked all your worms over. Did I? Yes, you did. Great. Beautiful. Job, Mike. That was worth it. Look at that one. Alright. I just made a friggin' mess in the boat. Nice. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Finally. Got him. I'm not catching a lot, guys, but when I catch them, they're decent fish. That one, not going to make the show, I don't believe. It's thick. Well, it might. Oh, well, it might. Well, pretty shelf backer, though. Beautiful. Just had to be patient. Right off the front of the boat again. I don't think so. Let me compare it to other ones. No. Beautiful. Go get bigger. There we go. Finally got him. Oh, I need, nah. Don't know if I'm gonna need a net, but it's fighting pretty good. That's a better fish. Oh, that's a big shell cracker. Not a monster. Beautiful. That's what I look for. They are sitting oh, right on. Yeah, that's a 10, 11 incher all day long. They're sitting right on the edge of those weeds, Mike, just like we thought. They're coming out and popping them. Yeah, now how deep were you on that? Um, look, what is that? It's at the second islet. Not very deep. Well, okay, I was tired of getting snagged on the uh, the weeds. So you know how when we trout fish and you feel the doo -doo 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 and it's a rock and you just pop it up. When I see my bobber in and it starts to go flat, I just kind of pop it and then let it come off the weeds. And when I did that on the last one, that one slammed it. See how it's kind of sideways? Yeah. So I'm just gonna pop it and just let it go back to where it's at. Oh, you got to you either snag uh, yeah, or you got to fish. Caught. Right, but so just pop it and let it come back up and let it keep floating. And it was after the pop that the fish slammed it. He saw it. Yeah, see, I'm on top of the weeds. So you need to go a little shallower. Yep. But see, then they're going to come out of those weeds and actually eat it. Hit. See what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. Did you there get them? Go. Huh. Okay. We figured it out, Mike. Okay. Just keep it just above the weeds. Yep. Look at that. That's a nice one. That's a keeper. That's a nail there. Okay, guys. So we went less than 20 yards and totally had to change our technique. Went from catching them off the bottom. We got these clumps of weed beds in here. And you almost have to fish it over top of the weed beds. And right as you do, they hit it. They slam it as yep. it comes out. Can't go off the bottom with it. That's beautiful. Good, good job, Mike. That is number 17 as a keeper. Yep. Almost like trout fishing. Yep. But with clumps of weeds. Guys, I literally turned my camera off and we caught another shell cracker.